Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to do a video today uh, more about pip and I want you guys to make, make sure we can see this. Okay, cool. Uh, I want you guys to make sure that you absolutely understand what all pip can do because we're just going to keep downloading and uh, installing outside libraries because this is the thing that I love in a couple videos I'll show you something that somebody spent a lot of time and made things a lot easier this is one of the reasons why I just love Python because the community is just so very large so all right I'll get off my uh, high horse so all right we've not done this yet let me expand this I think you can see that to, to that okay pip run this okay run pip so lo and behold here are all the things that pip can handle so all right this is the one that I want to look at because I couldn't remember if I had already had this package installed because I had reinstalled uh, one of our one of Python's I think I'm at 366 I think so alright this right here list shows the packages that you have I just typed list but that didn't work so <coughs> excuse me because it didn't work without my pip because that's not sitting here in our directory so we did that lot we did that a couple times ago where actually I took a text file and I ran it through the Python interpreter. So alright. Okay. So pip dot or pip list. So here we go. So I do not have the directory that or excuse me, the library that I want, but I want to show you this right here. So Python is always updating and upgrading. And so are all the external things that people help with Python. So this is also very important. So even with this newer version of Python, it had an old version of pip. So, and I didn't want to do this yet because we didn't have our Python path set up. And this is what you literally type, Python dash M pip. You just literally copy this if you look inside that we know what that is that's a string install and then upgrade upgrade pip and you let that thing run and it comes back and it, it uninstalls the package that was sitting there 10.0.1 and then it is going to then upgrade and install the latest version of 18.0 so I just wanted to show you that and I'm on the fence about showing you guys more DOS I don't know if you guys are interested if you do want me to show you some more commands with DOS leave some comments below and if we have any or enough or however I'll go ahead and knock that out but this is updating uh, pip and more advanced tools and all the all the commands that pip lets you do so thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And most important, that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.